was green and hobbits were still numerous and prosperous. Mr. Bilbo Baggins held a long awaited party. Seventeen winters came and went as the wizard searched for answers in far off lands. But in the Shire, things remained much as they had always been until the day that everything changed. You're already there, and I've lifted the daily as last time those crocus is first thing tomorrow. Sometimes I wish I'd gone with him. It's like my feet have got a journey longing for the mountains and the wild lands and the No, yeah, well, that will be the battle of blood. Good evening, Sam. Oh, fine evening, Mr. Baggins. A very fine evening, Mr. Baggins. Almost ready. You're coming down the aisle, you push, Mr. Baggins. Uh, no. No, not tonight, Sam. Anyway, looks like you've got all the counselling you needed. Well, you've been most welcome, Mr. Baggins. A good ale, a good pipe weed, and good companions. For more could I have ones? Supper, Sam. Mrs. Bracer does tarragon dumplings in a rich mushroom gravy. Hey, olive oil milk jelly with raspberries and a rhubarb. Hey, Dave, Mr. Baggins. Hey, Dave, Rosie. Hi, Sam. Oh, sorry, Cheerio. Mm. Oh, Sam, Dave, Mr. Baggins. Hey, Dave, Mr. Baggins. Hey, Dave, Mr. Baggins. Calling for your feet to stray Like the deep and rolling river It will sweep them far away Round no, no, baby! Who's that? All right, all right, all right, just a minute, just a minute Hey, hey, I'm not going to is that any way to greet an old friend? Oh, Mr. Gandalf, sir, it's you. What a pleasant surprise. Uh, uh, and after all this time. You look the same as ever. Not a day older than when Bilbo left. Well, what brings you back here? Not a day older, I swear. Well, you'll have to forgive me, Mr. Gandalf, sir. I wasn't expecting company. Well, there's some plum cake left, though. Not much, I'll admit. But it is Mrs. Bracegirdle's plum cake. Do you still have that gift? The Bilbo left behind. Yeah, yes, I kept it safe just as he told me. Let me see. Now, don't tell me you come all this way just for an invisibility ring. It is a good trick, I know. Hey, hey, wait! 
I'm here over you, sir. To disappear? Mm. I have been tempted. Especially when the sack girl back in this game to call. Tempted? Were you? Indeed.
meet you along the way. We do not travel entirely unaided. The Rangers of the North are even now on the watch. Rangers? You will never see them. They work in secret to protect the Shire and all these lands from the sea to the misty mountains. Expect me at Bree, the sign of the prancing pony. Prancing pony, right? No, no, Sam! As the hobbies might say, may the hair on your toes never fall out. Okay. Well, we're up and down. No object has ever been so far from the shore. Except Uncle Bilbo. Now, we know exactly what to do. Yeah, what we must do is get that strange old ring out of here, and there's no sense hanging about. A little bit of plumbing can they back some of this for you, Mr. Bilbo. Are you sure you want to come with me? What about Rosie? Well, well, you can't go all that way by yourself, can you? What have you got on a pickle? <laughs> Miss Arnott, Miss Trista there, and back again, Jeremy. All right, then. <laughs> Mr. Bogo? <Bobo>? Okay. <laughs>
I, Mr. Hunter, am not desired. Hunter and I, we've come in here on a silly
younger. And that itself is a great concern. Well, how can we trust you? Wait! Wait! How can we trust you? I'm a ranger of the North. We have followed your journey secretly since it began. Men call me Strider. Strider! No. And if by life or death I can save you, I will. Your friend is sorely hurt. The Black Rider struck him with a northern knife. Evil lingers in the wounds. Oh! oh so well, they, they, they do something! We have no time. The Black Riders were sent by the Dark Lord to find your friend. Or well, rather, the thing he carries. We must get into it. Here, take these. Now, George, no! We hope it's never used oh. weapons. You might have to learn quickly. You know, when you're more comfortable with a hoe or a stab, stick a bit. I do not have a hoe to hoe. We must not find this here, this way, quietly. We will cross the river at the fall.
even stop. You've come back. I would hardly have known you. You were the same as that unchanging start. You disappeared. Even from Elvish sight when you became a ranger. Working in secret. Unheeded. Alone. That has been my choice. You are growing. <laughs> As a youth, you used to follow me through these halls and corridors. Like a moonstruck boy. Simply to walk on paths your feet had trodden made my heart sick. I must have seemed a fool to you. I have longed for your return. The tides of our lives are turning. It was once said that you will be among the wind whose valor will confront the shadow. Perhaps. Oh! Oh! Where am I? Wait gently, Frodo. You are in Rivendell, and I am Arwen, daughter of Elrond. It was Elrond who caused the river to rise, sweeping away the Black Riders, and he himself removed the fragments of Morgul Knight from your shoulder. Frodo! Yeah. Oh. You put on the ring! Whilst you would, the Black Riders could see you clearly you were half in the world. You plan to put it on, it's just I keep wanting to, I don't know why. Look into my eyes. Fortunately for you, it would appear that hobbits are more resistance than most. You failed very reluctantly. And I've done what you asked. Wait, just describe yourself, for which I'm much obliged, I'm sure. The ring is safe at Rivendell. The ring has reached Rivendell. It may not yet be safe. We await Master Elrond's advice. What was Salaman's counsel? Ha! Salaman! He gave me no counsel. He imprisoned me. Forces he did not control came to my aid and I escaped. But Saruman is creating an army of his own. An army? He pretends an alliance with the Dark Lord. He believes that he may work in secret for the light, but the shadow can be deceived. Saruman the White was our greatest hope. Yes. And now our enemies but me and the others, we can go home now, back to the shrine, can't we? Mr. Frodo! Simply go, Mr. Frodo, and soon I turn my back and up to you, guess. Sounds be at your bedside, morning, noon, and night. Now, now there are such things here, Frodo. Bad, so deep you can swim in them. The most wonderful collection of books I've ever made. You see, the songs are like wine for the years. Enough, enough! There's no time for this and Mr. Gandalf, sir. We waited for you at Green, Mr. Gandalf, sir. I will. Frodo, can you stand? Uh, I think so. Good. Dress yourself. We are summoned by Master Elrond to the council chamber. You too, sir! Me? Well, I'm glad you're up and about. You had me worried. Frodo, sit down. You should have just seen the way that Strider was looking at the Lady Arwen. Oh, I'm not surprised. She's lovely. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> Yeah, but she's thousands of years older than him. <laughs> thousands of years. She don't look it though. Well, <laughs> that's because she's an elf. Well, a half elf, strictly speaking, but Strider is spitting. You mark my words. You've had too much of that spice wine, are you not? No, what some of us observe them. They find things out. Do they we? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mary. If someone special wants to say hello to Mr. Frodo, remember? To me? Who do I know here? Well, young old boy, yeah. Uncle Phil, don't we? It's grown now, isn't it? Boy, I don't know what they were. Oh, it is. It's me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh most of me, yeah. yeah. I've had more clunk shapes than fatty bulges I've jumped in. <laughs> hey, let's get some of that spice wine. Oh. Where have you been? Here and there. There and back again. The world is on what it was, and you know what I have, but I like it here. Hells are exceptionally good cooks. Uncle Bill, you look smart. You look old. What's he know, Frodo, my lad? I am old. He won't quite suit me, though. What's I left? The Shire. 
Get that ring? No. That ring. You can't imagine what scrapes that's got me into. You don't know the half of it. Come, Mr. Gamow's waiting. No, wait, wait, wait. Have you had it with you? Would you show it?
from his hand into the water and you found one name, Degald. He was swimming in the river with his cup and its glitter attracted him. He took it up. But his cousin wanted the ring. Had to have it, they fought. Deagle was strangled. Kills him. It's called Gollum. He took the ring. And for hundreds of years, he kept it. I took the ring from Gollum. Yes. That was the war of ring. Oh, no one knew. Once it was taken from it, Gollum searched for his lost treasure. Stumbled in the Mordor. He was captured, tortured. He was made to swear an oath to recover the ring and to give it over to Sarah. I swear. And that is when he told the Dark Lord of the Shire and of Bagheera. The ring, Gandalf. You have it now. I have it. I brought it to Rivendell for safekeeping, and I'm glad that task is done. Now, so small a thing, so plain, and yet so powerful. It's been nothing but trouble, and it's time I was getting home to my boat. The question is, what shall we do with it? I there is deep or in the sea. Will not stay hidden forever, as its history shows. Let us destroy it then, here, now. The rain cannot be destroyed here, not by any arts we possess. And the answer is clear. We use it ourselves for good, not evil. The rain belongs to the Dark Lord. It was made by him alone and conceived for him alone. Its strength is too great. For man, elf, dwarf, Always oh, it too bad. You must not be ruled by fear, then. No. Oh, yes. What? There is one hope. That the ring be taken back somehow to Mordor. It must be cast into the fires of Mount Doom, where it was forged. Only there can the one ring be unmade. And Sauron, too, will be unmade, and his evil will vanish like smoke upon the wind. So all other rings will lose their power after the sacrifice we must embrace. Very well, then. We'll go to see the Elvish start in this. We'll go there, Timmy. No, Bella! Oh, your offer is valid. The truth will go. The ring has passed on. The task is beyond your strength. Old friend. I'll take the ring to Mordor. No. I don't know the way. <laughs> I think this task is appointed for you, Frodo. You're not sending him off on such a journey alone. I'm going with him. Excuse me! Hey, excuse me! Excuse me! Beg your pardon, Master Elrond, sir, but we won't be left behind. And you'll need to take someone intelligent. I would not separate you, even if I could. This is the hour of the Shire folk, when they arise from their quiet fields to shake the towers and councils of the great. I will go with him at your service, dimly for the dwarves, with the elves, Legolas. I must leave once again to be your companion, Frodo. Would have begged you to come. I too will go with the Rainbow! Yes, Gandalf, this will be your great task. Will you join us for a minute? You are famous for your courage. We would be honored by your company. I realize some with the help is sorely needed. I will come until our paths divide. You go then, united not as an army, but as a fellowship of nine free companions. No oath or bond is placed upon you to go further than you will. Only on you, Frodo, do I lay a charge. 
not to cast away the ring, nor to deliver it to the enemy or any of his servants, nor to let any other handle it, save in great need. Go forth in hope that the small may succeed where the great could not, and may the light of the Yarrowbill star shine upon your way.
his idiot friends. Describe him, the one who disappeared. In the Hobbit. Oh, the sun. Okay. So, and now we have left Rivendell. Then it's. With Gandalf the Grey. Arranger and others. You have done well, Bill Fernie. Go now. Shire Hobbits had the ring all along. A company is heading to all the Misty Mountains. Four hobbits amongst them. Take your course, pursue them, ambush them at the first opportunity. Bring back the hobbits alive with all their belongings. No spoiling.
Look kindly over. I keep thinking about Colin. Oh. Well, we stopped it up. He killed his cousin to get the ring. Back when he was. What did you call him? Smeagol. Smeagol. Was. He was a hobbit. Something very like what? A hobbit? Let me see. A mortal who bears the one ring cannot die, but neither does he obtain more life. He continues. Till in the end, every moment is so weird. The ring stretched out Gollum's lifespan for centuries, and he came by tears now. So, how did Bilbo get the ring? By chance. So it seemed. One of his adventures. Bilbo was lost in the tunnel in the dark. He tripped and felt the ring beneath his hand. Ha! Gollum had mislaid it, you see. His precious. We came upon Bilbo in the room. Oh, is it? Why did you go back into the shop? And then he saw the ring in his hands. In his fury. Gollum attacked. He would have killed him, but the ring slipped on to Bilbo's finger, making him invisible. That's when it happened. Bilbo was terrified. He raised his sword to slay Gollum, but he could not bring himself to do it. He turned and ran. The ring still on his finger. He ran until he found the way out. It was since. Follow my search for his treasure. He's searching still. We hate back and forth. For ever. It's a pity Bilbo didn't kill him. Pity. It was pity that stayed Bilbo's hand. What? Pity for Gollum? No, he deserved to die. Frodo! Many that live deserve death, and some that die deserve life. Can you give it to them? No, of course not. No! Then do not be too eager to deal out death in judgment. We may still hope for Gollum's cure. Perhaps he was meant to find the ring. I'm Bilbo to take it. Perhaps you are meant to carry it now. It's like a curse. Or a cause for hope. Even the very wise cannot see all. Pippin! Fall on a top! Throw yourself in next time, then we don't find the news. Sorry, Mr. Sir. Something has been destroyed. Your sword, Mr. Frodo. But there's danger and it's close. 